A year ago, we visited a rural village in Zambia where there was no electricity, limited water, high crime rates, and countless other issues making life a constant struggle for these kids and staff. But despite the seemingly hopeless situation, there was someone doing everything she could to help these children. Meet Dora. Five years ago, she moved to Mapapa along with four adopted children and started making TikTok videos to raise money to build a school and village for kids in desperate need. And very quickly, her account grew to over 4 million followers. And she now cares for almost 400 children. You are amazing. Thank you, and I love you. But despite her best efforts, the cost of supporting all these kids is an ongoing challenge and threat to their community. So we immediately got to work alongside our partners from Give Power to build a solar array that would provide the village with much needed electricity and security. And for many of the children, this was the first time they saw light at night. But when we left the village, we realized that there was so much more that needed to be done. We were so moved by Dora and the kids that we committed to double our contribution, to give Dora the resources she needs to give these kids a loving and safe environment. By tripling her solar generation capacity, doing a full hydrological study to provide a proper well with plenty of clean, safe water, install a state-of-the-art internet network, and so much more. And because of your incredible support, we were able to kick off this massive project by constructing a well. And this is just the first of so many things we will be doing in this video. For so many of the children, this is the first time that they will have fresh drinking water. And it now flows in abundance. On your mat. <laughs> But sadly, there was one child who couldn't join in on the fun because she was still recovering from an injury. This is Beauty. So the last time that Dan and Duran were here, they were made aware about a girl called Beauty. She's one of my girls here. When she came to us, she was a very shy, timid girl. One of her legs had gangrene and was about to be amputated. We told Dora that we would take whatever steps were necessary to save Beauty's leg. We got the pictures and we got the treatment protocol. And we sent them to our friends at Cure International from the video we did in the Philippines, who also operate a hospital in Zambia. They told us that it was very likely that Beauty was going to lose her leg, but if we didn't act immediately, there was a good chance that she would lose her life. Cure agreed to take her case, and despite the dismal odds, they promised to do everything that they possibly could to save Beauty's leg. We stayed at the hospital for three months. They did three operations on her. While Beauty was in the hospital, the team back in Mapapa made incredible progress with the rest of the construction. They have such a great environment for kids and they just took her out of that shell of fear and just told her to say, hey, you'll be okay. So who's your favorite teacher? <laughs> Very nice. It's been an amazing experience to kind of see her transform into what she is now. <laughs> A few weeks after her final surgery, Beauty was able to leave the hospital. Who is discharged? You look very good. You? She just slowly changed into this bubbly, fun, talkative girl. <laughs> it's been amazing. <laughs> it's been really great. <laughs> I'm able to feed all the kids here through my videos on social media, but that was a big challenge for me to do because I had to drive about an hour and a half away from where I live almost each day to buy the food that we have. Since our last visit, when we saw how old and unreliable Dora's car was, I'd been really concerned that she had breakdown down on the remote roads in Zambia without even having as much as cell phone coverage. My worst fears were realized one morning when I was woken up by a message from Dora telling me that she had just been in a wreck and her car was total. Darren wasted no time and quickly jumped on a call with her. Hey, Dora. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing good now. I'm doing good. I think that this is a sign that we better buy you a new car right now. I want you to go look for a car. We will pay for it next week. Okay. 
um just <laughs> I'm sorry it's a bit it's a lot <laughs> thank you thank you so much with her new car, Dora can now travel to get food for the village without any worry of breaking down and being left stranded. Just a few weeks later, the construction was almost complete and Dan and Darren were on their way to Mapapa to see just how much the village has changed since their last visit. Dan and Darren are about to return and I'm super excited to show them all the amazing things that have been happening at the school because of them. Oh my God. Reuniting with Dora and the kids after nearly a year was a truly magical experience. After receiving a warm welcome by the kids, Dora showed Dan and Darren around the well. We now have clean drinking water and because of that, the kids' confidence has risen. We don't have skin infections, we don't have diarrhea anymore. Where they sleep, their clothes, everything, their confidence has just grown up because they are in a clean, safe environment. With clean water, the village is now far more self-sufficient. Dora is able to grow vegetables in her garden, cultivate a chicken coop, and even sustain a fish pond to provide food for the kids. And on top of that, we also provided Dora and the kids a commercial gas stove so they no longer have to burn through bags of charcoal for cooking. But there was one more thing that was severely impacting Dora's ability to take care of these kids. In order to upload a TikTok, Dora would have to stand for hours holding her pole up to get an internet connection. But now with the new solar grid, we can put in a brand new Starlink Wi-Fi router. That has literally been installed today and I am super happy and super excited about that. We can connect to it together for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see how well it works. I have a better idea. How about to try making a TikTok? <laughs> Don't make me dance. So, we'll be here. I will come. Wave during your turn. Then, wave. Very nice. Then, we will start rolling like that. But you are going out, and then he will follow, then I will be the last person. Okay, are you guys ready? Yep. All right. Very nice. Wave. Stay there. Wave. Okay, come now. Okay, okay, okay. We almost got it. Slower. Very cool. Very yes. nice. Wave. Nice. <sighs> Let's see. Now let's head over to the house and see if we can upload it. Come with me. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks to this new internet connection, the village is much safer because they are not isolated and Dora can also now upload her TikToks whenever she wants from anywhere in the school, meaning that she can generate more money to support the village. And on the day Dan and Darren were about to leave, Dora told us that she had a surprise for us. And before we reveal what that surprise is, I want to tell you about electric e-bikes. When we told electric e-bikes our plan to revisit the village and give Dora everything she needed, they, as always, stepped up to the plate and put down the additional funding required to do so. If you don't know who electric e-bikes are and what they do, they are on a mission to change people's lives by increasing their mobility while being energy efficient through the creation of really affordable and easy to use electric bikes. Whether you need to travel to school, work, medical treatments, it is perfect for the job. To find out more, click the link in the description and buy an electric e-bike for your Yourself. The more you guys buy, the more they can sponsor videos. It's a beautiful loop. Darren is yet to see the dormitory that had been completely rebuilt after a storm had ripped through it last year, leaving it in ruins. It is because of all of you that donated to the fundraiser in the last video that Dora had just enough to rebuild these dorms, stronger than before. And after months of hard work, the reconstruction of the building was finally complete. And Darren got to see it for the first time. I'm blown away how much Dora takes everything that we give her and multiplies it a hundred times over. All right, let's give them a round of applause. So as of today, this house will no longer be called the boys' house. It will be called the Peace Philanthropy House! Later that night, we celebrated with the entire village. 
Having this house dedicated to Beast Philanthropy is a massive honor to each and every one of us because Beast Philanthropy is all of us. You see, without your support, we wouldn't be able to do projects like this. And I want you to know how much we love and appreciate you. Dora is such a kind and giving person and she's had such a huge impact in so many people's lives. I hope you all find her as inspiring as I do and are motivated to find your own way to help build a brighter future because every one of us has the ability to make a difference in somebody else's life. Chandler told me he had a special message for you guys, so we'll end the video with that. What was it? Donate. Use the link in the description below or the donate button. Yep, that's the message. Okay. Also, subscribe. And here's oh. Coral. Subscribe. <laughs>